to me, this is this is what you would call a rat rod. Rat rod has become art cars, in my opinion. But we went out behind the shop and found most of this part. It's got a Camaro clip, uh, 350 Chevy motor, 700R tranny, S10 rear end. It's it's like a big a go kart on steroids. This this thing is fun. Uh, we just enjoy the hell out of it. Now now this is foray into body work and he drove it around for three years in brown primer and now we got it he put a little paint job on it. Here we are, we're now here in Phoenix. This is you know, went through the racing on the salvage yard and that now now I'm retired. This is what we do for fun now. This is my friend Mitch. Howdy. Our background is uh Thailand. Uh, my wife is from Thailand. Mitch's mother is from Thailand, and that's how we met through the Thai community. And uh, we're kind of like the version of the street outlaws, Asian and the farm truck guy. I'm the old guy; he's the Asian. But uh, now this is his scout, and this is our little, this is our project. Open the hood, Mitch. And, uh, how it's done. I met Larry when I was 17 and I was raking his, raking his uh, rocks and leaves through his yard and he came up to me one day and he uh, asked me if I could turn a wrench or not and I was like oh okay uh, sure I could turn a wrench. From that point on we we're working in the shop together. Larry has seen my ambition to work. He introduced uh, building the ride for me and I didn't have a particular interest of building a Pacific ride yet. Through across building a Scout, I thought it was a good idea. So we uh, pursued it and I was happy and he, he wanted to help me build the ride so I did as much as possible around the shop to get me uh, this ride right here. So it really motivated you? Yes. I, I worked more harder and harder every day when I went over there just to uh, build my own custom ride, yep. and here we are. All right, Larry Dagley here. Born in, uh, this is Phoenix, Arizona. I was born in Missouri. My uncle was a Chevrolet dealer. Uh, 74 years old, I probably got 64 years experience. I remember being in my uncle's garage 10, 12 years old. My Aunt Jules, 1955 Chevy convertible came off the car trailer. It was like a spaceship had landed in the little town. Here's a turquoise and white V8 Continental kit, 55 Chevy convertible. I mean, this this car was unbelievable compared to 49, 50 Chevy pickups and stuff that you'd been seeing running around town. Anyway, got interested in drag racing back in Kansas City. That led me to Arizona to the AHRA Nationals out in Beeline in Scottsdale. And, I came home one, one uh, winter and a uh, real estate agent had put a sign on my house, had a buyer. Within, got in the car, went back to Arizona, got a job at Kenworth, went back to Missouri, sold the house. Two weeks later I was, I was able to show up for work in Phoenix, Arizona. I don't know how in the hell I did that in those days. <coughs> I was driving a 57 Nomad with a Tri-Power 427 motor in it, towing a 63 Corvette convertible. Again, I, I could do that in this, this era. Anyway, here now here in Phoenix, Arizona, I uh, got, got into dirt track racing and just loved that. Raced Manzanita and Tucson, a little bit of NASCAR and California and stuff. And uh, man, sold, sold the wrecking yard business, got burned out on that. Now do just work on hot rods at home, building, like fabrication because at a background of building dirt track cars, it took me a while to get into the mentality of street rides, which has really got too much shine to them for me. I, I, I embrace the uh, patina driver type car more than anything. This car I'm standing in front of belongs to my buddy Mark Williams. What's interesting to me about this car is I had a Tri-Power 58 Impala convertible, and this is a Tri-Power 58 
two-door wagon and, and it's four-speed car too so it and uh, so I'm helping him get this thing on back on the road and uh, it's one of the many many things we do but basically I do a lot of fabrication Mustang two Camaro clips uh, disc brake conversion that kind of stuff My old cars drive like new to make them drive like modern cars yeah, I said what's cool about this car was the Tri Power 348 thing. Belongs to my buddy Mark. I'm helping him get it and it going. Uh, really nice car, rust free Arizona car, fresh paint. I, he'd probably sell it for, for a reasonable offer. You know, if anybody interested, you know, talk to us about it. Yeah, we've been talking about some of these cars I built with Camaro Class, but really what I've built a lot of is Mustang II conversions. And certain cars you can put a Camaro clip on, and certain cars you shouldn't. And uh, the older cars I, I used Mustang II on a lot of. This is my own personal vehicle. Uh, I shouldn't say that because everything's for sale, but I'm trying to, trying to hang on to this one. 55 GMC first series, which is really a leftover 54 that they just kept on making in the first part of the 55. It's got a 292 Chevy motor, six cylinder, which is kind of different. Yeah, this this uh, car's got a cool valve cover on it. It, it looks like an old 216, 235 Chevy valve cover, which I bought off of eBay or internet or something. Anyway, it's kind of a cool deal and uh, like I said this this is my own personal vehicle and when I don't have any work to do I work on this and then somebody out there it always seems like I get busy doing something else but uh, that's how it goes all right listen what we do here a lot of fabrication work we don't do body and paint we don't do upholstery air conditioning or rebuild your motor transmission but you like some Mustang 2 Camaro clip, engine conversion, disc brake, that kind of stuff, you know. That's that's what we do. And uh, Larry Dagley, 623-332-4232. That's how it's done.